Hello, everybody. We are continuing with the Debilitated Planets Masterclass. And today I'm talking about Mercury in Pisces and its debilitation. Hello, I'm Komela Sutton. And we are talking about uh, Mercury in Pisces and the Debilitation Masterclass. And just reminding you, that please subscribe, press the bell notification, and, uh, you know, do leave comments as well. I try to uh, see all the comments and I connect with you. And I know most of your names as well, the ones who send me comments because I read them. Uh, so um, I am talking about uh, Mercury in Pisces. So uh, Mercury is... Uh, uh, in Pisces once a year and therefore uh, you know if you're born somewhere uh, in uh, uh, March, April approximately around there you may have Mercury in Pisces not everybody because Mercury always travels close to the sun so when sun comes into Pisces Mercury is going to be around that place so sun Vedically comes into Pisces at uh, 15th, 16th of March and stays there till uh, 14th of um, uh, April. So uh, so either uh, it will be if um, sun is in Aries, sun is in Pisces or uh, sun is in Aquarius, any one of those three positions, Mercury can be in Pisces. So uh, it is uh, there, but also one uh, plus point about Mercury is that Venus also is very close to the sun. So many times Venus will cancel the debilitation of uh, Mercury in your chart. You may have exalted Venus in your chart at the same time as uh, Mercury is debilitated in Pisces. So why do we want to study it and what is the importance? So firstly, when Mercury is the planet of intellect and thinking, it's also the planet of business. And when Mercury is exalted, it's very analytical, super analytical, wanting to know everything, show me the evidence. Mercury in Pisces is way more, um, you know, looks beyond uh, research. It is more intuitive. Uh, it's uh, more uh, spiritual uh, because it's not asking all those questions. But what happens is that sometimes they are not very practical. So if you have Mercury in Pisces, you may not be too practical. You may not be so good at business. So you have to think twice before starting your own business because you couldn't be bothered with all the nitty gritty of small um, you know, um, things. So you are uh, way more uh, thinking of the bigger picture. You may not be... Um, may not be able to retain so much. A lot of people tell me who have Mercury in Pisces, they find difficult to retain things, but they have actually retained it. It's just that uh, they are not so um, planning with it. Organization is not good. Actually, while every other sign needs to learn to be more spiritual, um, Pisces needs to learn to be more practical. So if you have Mercury in Pisces, then you think, I have to be a bit more practical because I'm intuitive. I can see the bigger picture. All those things is natural to you, but I want to be more practical. So you can learn those skills to be a bit more practical. Uh, I notice that when you have, uh, um, you know, a debilitated planet, it is usually always uh, bring some health problems uh, for you. And so be conscious of that. And uh, especially the skin is uh, the area for health for Mercury. Also the shoulder area as well, that area a little bit that you can see with Mercury uh, brings health problems. Mercury is debilitated at 15 degrees of Pisces. So uh, the sign of Pisces and then uh, it is uh, debilitated in Uttra Bhadra Nakshatra. And in Uttra Bhadra Nakshatra, you know, those nakshatras are the second uh, from the end. So it is very uh, spiritual, very, um, you know, intuitive so that 
Mercury's role as the questioner in chief and asking questions has no role to play there. And it is also in the Sagittarius uh, Pada of uh, uh, that it is uh, debilitated, Sagittarius Pada of Uttra Bhadra Nakshatra. So when we look at the information, exact debilitation is 15 degrees of Pisces. The uh, Pada is Sagittarius Pada. The Nakshatra is Uttra Bhadra and the sign is Pisces. Uh, so, uh, you know, normally Jyotish speak is this uh, Mercury in Pisces is debilitated, but you have to see that plus with Mercury, you are always checking uh, whether it is going to be uh, too close to the sun. So um, if it is too close to the sun, it is combust. So it burns out, it gets hidden. Uh, so there are a number of things to check. Cancellation of debilitation can happen either by Venus or Jupiter. Those are the simple cancellations. If uh, Venus is uh, in Pisces, it is automatically canceling uh, the weakness because what happens is that you have weakness and then somebody is supporting you. So that is a important thing to see. Uh, Jupiter, if it is in uh, uh, Sagittarius or in Pisces, it will also cancel the debilitation. But Jupiter in Gemini also can cancel the debilitation because it has a direct aspect back to its sign. Uh, and then if you have Mercury exalted in the Navamsha, then that is another cancellation. I always tell people that they must look at the Shadbal, uh, Vimshopak and Ashtaka Varga before making a final conclusion. Uh, there is uh, something like Mercury is in Pisces uh, and that's a quality, but is it weak in Pisces? So the weakness or strength has to be studied through other factors. So don't get upset you have a, a, a debilitated planet because you need to check all these things and then decide. Uh, now, as far as when um, uh, does Mercury uh, go debilitated by transit? Now, I watch all the debilitation, exaltation, transits, and I've watched them for years because I follow my life according to Jyotish. And uh, so Mercury is always in Pisces. Uh, you don't know. Sometimes it is only 20, 25 days. Uh, sometimes if it retrogrades in Pisces, then it will be there almost three months. So we don't, you know, the sh quick, short uh, transit is easier to handle. But sometimes if it is there for such a long time, Venus is also there and there may be other cancellations of uh, debilitation too. Uh, so you have to watch a number of things with uh, Mercury in Pisces. Uh, is it um, a short transit or a long transit? So every year, uh, Mercury retrograde seems to retrograde in the same element. So it can retrograde in air, water, fire, earth element. So when it's uh, retrograding in water elements, that means that it is going to have a long stay in Pisces. And then, of course, you know, you want to see um, that, uh, you know, how many days it is. So it's a longer experience of Mercury in Pisces. Otherwise, it is maximum 25 days. Uh, so uh, 25 days is uh, easier to handle and important. And mostly when it is uh, debilitated by transit, you will see that uh, Gemini and Virgo, whether your moon or ascendant, you have to watch out most because it's your ascendant ruler. The others, it is a, a minor transit, you could say, uh, to look at, unless it is there for uh, uh, three uh, months and it is retrograding there. Then that year, you know that uh, Pisces is a longer transit. Then always at the end of uh, Pisces is the Gandanta. So uh, when Venus is going through uh, Pisces, uh, Gandanta, then you have to watch out. So that is another thing that uh, you may need to see even in your natal chart 
that is mercury in Pisces is it Gandanta. So then it has an extra element to it. And finally, the houses it rules, generally, uh, whichever house it rules in your chart, then those houses will have some weakness. But you can't really make a decision without looking at uh, the strength, the house positions, uh, the Navamsha positions. All those things are important. So we can't just make a blanket statement that I have Mercury in Pisces. It's weak in every area. No, 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 no. So just be conscious of that. And uh, so that is it uh, for this uh, Mercury uh, debilitated masterclass. And uh, do watch the other ones as well. And uh, remember to subscribe, press the bell notification and thanks again.